if you were moving 9.999 a grams number of nines, then wouldn't you effectively be moving the speed of light? No, because as you get closer and closer to the speed of light, time dilation becomes more and more pronounced. The smaller the fraction, the bigger the time dilation in this case. Like relativity is the realm of the very big and the very small. And those very big and very small numbers matter. Again, to move at the speed of light, if you have any mass, you would need infinite energy. If you were moving a grams number of 0.9s close to speed of light, you would have an unimaginable amount of energy, but a finite amount of energy. You may say that doesn't make a difference, but remember, you could put another grams number of 9s and you would get that much more energy. And I mean, Graham's number is so huge that we're talking about differences in time dilation on the order of being longer than the estimated life of the universe. So yeah, in relativity, you can't, you can't just say close enough. There's a very specific reason why only massless things can move the speed of light. Like if you were going 9.99 a gram's number of nines the speed of light, and you shine a light bulb in front of you, that light would still travel the speed of light in front of you. That's why close isn't enough, because if you were to actually be moving the speed of light, you would exhibit that same behavior, and you don't. In fact, you can't. The very fact that you have a reference frame, that you have a perspective at all, prevents you from doing that.